Holy shit. Raiders have just released Josh McDaniels and Dave Ziegler. I can't believe our owner actually fucking listened to us. Okay, so a lot of this came out of enough field, man. I just freaking seen this on my phone. I'm still tripping out on it. The Raiders, seriously, uh, were in the gutter in the last two weeks. It was so bad that literally Mark Davis couldn't ignore it anymore. And honestly, guys, <laughs> I am 100% okay with this move. I am a hundred percent. Who the fuck is it right now, man? Who the fuck isn't okay with this move? Let me tell you something, guys. There is a such thing as progression and then there's regression. And that's all we've been going through this whole year. And then you see both Dave Ziegler and Josh McDaniels together as a tandem just weren't fucking working. The contracts with the fucking Hunter Renfro not being able to be moved, not being able to be able to get any compensation for him. Same thing with Derek Carr. You've seen Waller's contract went to shit. The only thing they did good was sign Max Crosby. For God's sakes, every single player that were actually, you know, above average when it came to this team, that were actually um, all pro level, pro bowl level, were getting decreased in value just by being on this roster because of what they were you know, being a part of with this fucking regime. And it showed that they just couldn't fucking get the goddamn job done. If you get that much talent, that much talent, and you don't produce results or even become competitive at that, no sign of improvement. Matter of fact, it just keeps taking another step back. You deserve to be fucking fired. Everybody in Raider Nation has been asking for this and it shows it had to fucking happen. On you right now guys, the reason why this happened is because of the talent we had on this team and the things that we were able to do in previous years with the same talent on this team. Honestly, there were so many like signs that this would happen because of all the decisions made in the front office with Dave Ziegler that just kept falling apart. You've seen the bad contracts. You've seen the horrible decisions. You've seen the decrease in value of players on this team that we couldn't even move on from. Not only that, you see their inability to actually address needs at the quarterback position, at the offensive line position. You see the, the struggles that some of their draft picks have made. Um, Tyler Wilson had a decent game this last one, but for God's sakes, you see other players that they had on the board that everybody was saying for them to pick. <laughs> they passed up on that are now on other teams making an impact. People would not even make a move for Hunter Renfro because how decreased in value he has became due to Josh McDaniels inability to capitalize on his talents. And then when you look at all the things that this team actually needs to address and needs to freaking take to the forefront to get fixed, these motherfuckers didn't even address it. They didn't even freaking pay attention to it. They just straight up ignored some of the sections of this team that were struggling mightily. And it was very evident that they didn't know what the fuck they were doing. How many fucking fans had to tell you that we need to address this fucking line? I cannot believe Mark Davis actually grew a pair, walked in the office of Josh McDaniels and Dave Ziegler and said, get the fuck out. I got, I got to give it to him, man. I got to give it to him. Like, it, he, I think a bit of his dad came out right today, guys. I think a bit of his dad came out today, guys. I, I really think that motherfucker just pulls some straight up. I don't give a fuck. You guys ain't showing no effectiveness. You guys ain't showing no improvement. You guys have not done anything to prove that you should even get another fucking day running this franchise for me. So get the fuck out. I respect the way he handled this today, guys. Uh, a lot of us were calling for his head because of the situation at hand. And honestly, man, after what everybody witnessed on Monday night, I do not blame Mark Davis at all for being swift and quick with the firing. Halloween. The Halloween massacre, dude. We took out a whole regime overnight. That's a new one. That's a new one. I gotta say... I don't know what we're going to do, guys. We could lose every game this year. All I know is that we have a chance to improve next year. That's 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 all I know. Is 
the future wasn't getting bright with this regime. This future wasn't getting any better with this regime. Everything kept declining. Everything kept getting worse. You see certain teams that actually stick with the head coach, that actually stick with a program, that stick with a regime, you see progression. You see something getting better, a little bright light, something that they improved on. So far, the only thing that improved with this team is the defense. I guess you could throw that in the pros when it comes to pros and cons of this regime, that you actually got the defense turned around a bit. But the problem is you got millions of dollars invested on the offense and pennies invested on the defense, which, you know, kind of doesn't make you look good at all. As a matter of fact, it makes you look incompetent as fuck. I mean, like, okay, dude, like, there's so much that has gone wrong with this team on the one thing that this man was brought in to improve upon. Not not even having to do much to improve upon because it was already proven that this offensive side of the ball was pretty fucking good. You look at every single decision that this fucking regime, former regime, has made in the last fucking year. And I 100% understand why we are going in this direction and I am all for it. Hey, yo, and I ain't saying it's all going to be easy, man. I ain't saying it's going to be all sunshines and rainbows and shit. Nah, man. It's going to be very hard. It's going to be a tough fucking road. And it's going to be probably a few losses in our future, man. A lot of losses in our future, maybe. At the same time, we know what the problem was in our past. We know what the problem was in the last few games. And we got rid of it. Now, if we have new problems coming in, Maybe with someone new at the helm, we might be able to address it. We might be able to adjust. We might be able to change the course. Look, if you get a competitive team, just a competitive team, out of this decision, it's totally fucking worth it. Thing a lot of people point out, yo, Gruden didn't have a great start either, but we stuck with him. Gruden didn't you know, get us that many wins, but we stuck with him. Uh, let me tell you something, guys. Uh, all those games we lost with Gruden, we were still competitive in a lot of them. We were still putting up a fight in a lot of them. We were still scoring points. We scored more than 20 points with Gruden several fucking times, okay? We haven't done that in eight straight fucking games this season. So, yeah. What the fuck is up with that? Look, guys, I could keep going on this shit, but honestly, I'm pretty basically repeating myself now. This was the right decision. A lot of people out here saying we should have kept them on so that way we could just keep losing and tank and get a quarterback in the top round, all that bullshit. You know, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Maybe we should have kept them on so that way it wouldn't, it wouldn't be considered tanking. We just know we got a shitty coach and a shitty uh, person running this regime right now, and uh, we're probably going to pick in the top five. But here's the deal, guys. Um... You don't want to poison the well, guys. That and let me tell you something. You you get a losing culture and you get a team used to a losing culture, even though they're giving their all in practice, even though they're trying to actually make something happen on the field, and you could see the frustration on these players' faces. When you actually establish that and make it a normal thing, it's hard to come back from that, man. Winning cures all, but losing poisons everything, everything you're building towards, everything you want. So I'm sorry, guys. I am not for tanking. I never will be. I don't believe in it. Uh, I hope that we still have a team that can try their best and just compete. That's all I'm asking for. Just be competitive because this last game, we were not competitive on offense. Our defense played their fucking asses off. But on offense, we were fucking horrible. Just fucking horrible. Something had to give. And it gave. Mark Davis finally said, fuck it. Get the fuck out. Uh, honestly, man, I don't see any negatives in this decision. Uh, I honestly think it was the best decision for this organization moving forward. It's obvious this shit wasn't working. 
Uh, take your lumps. Move on to the next one. It is what it is at this point, guys. We cannot dwell on the fact that we just moved on from another coach. All right, yo. At this point, guys, if you build continuity with a losing product, with a losing formula, what do you think you're building? There is no benefit of that. Everybody knows that if you keep doing the same thing over and over and over again, you're crazy. Because that shit ain't going to change. So, Mark Davis seen that. Understood that. Took him a while to get there. No, I ain't go front, but better late than never, man. Thank you, Mark Davis, for making the right decision on this one. Uh, us Raider fans appreciate it. We're so happy that you finally fucking heard us and you finally came through and smartened up. <laughs> I get it, man. I get it. Uh, I know it's going to be tough to actually move forward with this, but uh, I'm going to still be supporting my team every Sunday. Still be supporting my team every game day. Uh, you know what it is, guys. It's going. I ain't going. I ain't going front. This shit going to be tough, man. Uh, probably a lot of losses in our future, but it's all right. I could live with that, as long as I know that we ain't going to put up with the stupid bullshit that we have been witnessing this year. Okay. All right. Right, that's gonna do it, guys. Just want to, you know, get my reaction to that. <sighs> Damn. All right, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Y'all know the deal. Go Raiders.